You know, sometimes things are just plain funny. Now, the last video I did running the old axles in here, making a part I'm holding in my hand under this GoPro, I threw a bunch of those uh, vintage ads between the scenes. And I go and look at it, and those vintage ads have been replaced with uh, regular ads that uh, I get no uh, royalty off of because it's not a monetized channel. So I can't put vintage ads between the scenes, but I'll run them as a slideshow at the end. I'll try that for a while, uh, for the algorithms or whatever evil <laughs> entity there is. I really don't care. I have to laugh about it, tell you the truth. And uh, I have a product I want to show you that you may not be aware of. And I could use this product to eliminate what I'm doing here. See that with this jig board. But uh, the product is somewhat specialized and not widely known. And it requires another skill set to use. And I'll set the camera right down here and I will show you that product. And it's only available from the factory as far as I know. This company has no distributors. It's like a really cool company. And here it is. You ever seen that before? It's a hone all. Now on this side, it says sun. And what this is, it's very interesting. If you're familiar with the standard um, horizontal, uh, honing machines. This is like a miniature version of that. And it takes, it, except for it doesn't have that dial, the, the 10,000th reading dial, but it takes the same mandrels. And these things come in different sizes. And uh, even up to two inch, you know, using two inch uh, solid P mandrels like this. And <clears throat> with practice, you could hold one half of a ten thousandth with this on a hole diameter. Yeah. Machinists can't do it, but millwrights can. And another uh, uh, group that knows about this is cylinder head rebuilders. At one point in the 90s, I, uh, I remember it, that uh, the specs changed for uh, automotive um, valves and valve guides and things like that. This is a 5 sixteenths one, and you could do 5 sixteenths valve guides with it or anything with it. And I, uh, oh gosh, I think you can go down maybe three sixteenths, they, they have uh, these uh, mandrels to one sixteenth, but you might break it, you know. And this is run with a drill. And I run this with, with uh, air drills, you know, real smooth running air drills. And it's got the yoke, see? So you get it in the hole and uh, carefully work this thing and you can you can get a plus or minus half tenth you can really do that a lot of people don't know that about the sun and home or, or know about this and i'm going to tell you i i thought i'd check ebay and see what these cost there's not a single one on here on there and 30 years ago i think this cost 750 bucks. Ah! <laughs> so, <laughs> and it's uh, probably more worthwhile if you have 
lots of holes to do, right? But if you only have a couple holes to do, like I'm doing for this uh, uh, trays for the uh, end measuring rods, then you can use a uh, old uh, chip making machines like a uh, jig board to get plus or minus a tenth. That's uh, within the realm of this thing. But if you want to take it to the next level, this thing will do it. Now I'm going to mention one more thing about the sun at home in general. If you can get a fairly smooth hole, it's not going to tear up the stone. You can see the stone there. Let me, let me see if I can lift the stone out. If you can get a smooth enough hole where it's not tearing the stone up, like a reamed hole or a fairly well machined hole. Let's see, I push that. Let's see that. Okay, I don't know if you can see that lift up, but when you push this lever, it releases and you can withdraw it. it. It releases it. Then when you let the lever out, the stone expands, then you uh, adjust the expansion here. But the nature of the hone, what I was getting at, you can have a bit of a wobbly hole or a tapered hole. And you can sun and hone it, and it'll stay on center because the sun and hone will go the easiest path. If you have a wobbly hole, mostly going in the, the same path, this will follow that path. So you can have some variation in your hole from machining. Now, so I could go directly, let me loosen this, wrong lever. So it could go directly from this machine to using the, the hone all instead of um, using this uh, jig bore. But like I say, this takes a little bit of practice and this is expensive. You know, you have to have the stones, blah, 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 and be able to uh, make it work, so to speak. And this would be a piece of cake. And this would also take care of any tapers or tight ends or any problems you have. You're just simply running this through those holes. And um, you should leave about a thousandth or so amount of uh, material to remove to get the best results out of that. So I just thought I'd point out the hone all as my recommended tool for the day if you need it. Okay, I'll be back. I'll run a couple of vintage ads at the end here. <laughs>